Hi everyone, this is Rachel Georges, the artist behind Gorgeous Mixed Media. So today I wanted to share with you a mixed media piece that I'm working on. Um, I really love the way it turned out and I thought you guys might like to see something a little bit different. Um, don't worry, I will not uh, stop making fluid art, but um, my name is Gorgeous Mixed Media. I like to do other things as well. And uh, so for this one, I'm laying down some tissue paper to create some texture on this watercolor paper. Um, and so for this technique, you really have to seal the watercolor paper with some gesso, lay down your tissue in um, you know, the composition that you would like, and then gesso over it again. So I laid down several pieces of tissue and I gessoed them I let them dry and then I did go back and gesso over it again because if you don't steal that tissue paper in really well um, it, it will get soggy when you're trying to go back over it with watercolor or acrylic or whatever medium you choose to go over it with so that's what you see me doing here I'm just uh, putting another layer of gesso and honestly, you might need more than one layer to seal it. So um, just feel it once it's dry. If you feel places where it still feels kind of soft, then go ahead and go over it again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the watercolor portion. And so at first I'm just doing a loose wash of color. Um, so I'm just doing a very fluid wash of watercolor and then kind of you know trying to figure out what I want the composition to look like. I'm going for a very flowing kind of look um, so that's why I'm laying in some really wet watercolors. And so I'll let you watch this part. Um, I'm gonna build up the, the watercolor in, in layers, so I'm gonna go in, let it dry, and then I'll go back in again. Um, so for this piece, there's, there's a lot of layering involved. Uh, so I'll put on some music and I'll be back with you in a moment. So here guys, I'm just going to add some salt to that watercolor and when you do, you'll notice that it'll create some texture effects. Um, so I do continue to add some more watercolor in places that I'm still kind of working on um, and you'll see me add salt uh, again before I let it completely dry. Um, you do want it to be pretty saturated to get really distinguished effects in the salt. Um, and so my saturation isn't so great here. So I do go in and add some more color and then add more salt. And then of course, once it's completely dry, then you can go back over it with your hand and kind of rub away that salt. Um, or if it's really stuck on there, you can, you know, lightly brush over it with like a palette knife or even your fingernail. Just be careful not to take off the color with your with your fingernail. And so yeah, I'm just going back and adding some more layers of watercolor. Um, so I'll put some music back on for you. Alright, so 
so now I'm about to hit the wet watercolor with some alcohol and once again that's just going to create some more texture it kind of pushes the colors away from one another um, if you have a really thick layer of watercolor it'll almost create kind of cells but my layer is pretty thin so it's just going to give me some interesting texture um, I'm also going in with some white watercolor which uh, doesn't really act like the rest of the colors it does things a little bit different it's a little bit more opaque um, so it also kind of creates some cool effects if you've ever played with watercolor then then you already know um, usually pure pure watercolor artists don't use a lot of white they actually utilize the white in the paper all right and so now that it's completely dry I'm gonna go in and embellish with some colored pencils you could do this with oil pastels as well um, but I'm just essentially going over those raised edges from the tissue paper and highlighting uh, that texture with the white colored pencil um, I'm also going to go in and add some saturation with some other colored pencils too um, I'm not done with the watercolor I will go back in and add some more layers of watercolor too um, but yeah that's just kind of what this process looks like it's just building building that color building the contrast the depth um, so with that I'll be quiet for the rest of the video and I'll put on some music if you like my content be sure to subscribe um, if you'd like to see more mixed media pieces you know let me know um, I know primarily my account is uh, dedicated to mostly fluid art uh, but if you like this kind of piece and you're interested in seeing more like it let me know and I'll be sure to uh, create some of those videos for you guys as well uh, thanks so much and have a great day when I drove down to the